good people, the masses, are at the very bottom. Supporting guess, the whole thing. Yeah, I guess you could see it. Hard to make out. Yeah, but yeah, it's it, we have it on the um, in color on the uh, newsletter censored Facebook page. You can see all of this great stuff. Probably look good on the refrigerator, right? Let's see. You have any more magnets? No. No. Not available. Don't lose that bill. Oh my God. No. That's my vitamin bill. You need more magnets. Well, Mag I don't know where they are. Magna Carta. Magnet. Please. Uh, maggots. <clears throat> yeah, at least four of them. Ah. The pyramid of the capitalist system. Mm. Okay. What do we got there, Chief? The House narrowly rejected a challenge to the National Security Agency's secret collection of hundreds of millions of Americans' phone records Wednesday night after a fierce debate pitting privacy rights against the government's efforts to thwart terrorism. The vote was 217 to 205 on an issue that created unusual political conditions excuse me, coalitions in Washington, with libertarian-leading conservatives and liberal Democrats pressing for change against the Obama administration, the Republican establishment, and Congress's national security experts. A showdown, vote, marked the first chance for lawmakers to take a stand on the secret surveillance program since former NSA systems analyst Edward Snowden leaked classified documents last month that spelled out the monumental scope of the government's activities. Yeah. Backing the NSA program were 134 Republicans, 83 Democrats, including House Speaker John Boehner, who typically does not vote. Yeah. And Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi. Rejecting the administration's last minute pleas to spare the surveillance operation were 94 Republicans and 111 Democrats. It is unlikely to be the final word on government intrusion to defend the nation and American civil liberties. You see, to date, to date, mind you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they claim that this spying has allowed them to prevent over 50 terrorist attacks. You got any proof yet of anyone? Please, just one, just one. No. Give us proof on just one. Hasn't come forth, right? That's correct, because it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie! It's a lie. <laughs> that was Frankenstein when he was there. It's alive! Oh, it's alive. It's alive! It's alive. Yes, was that young alive. Frankenstein? Yes, yes, yes. With uh, Peter Boyle? The late Peter Boyle? Yeah, 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 yeah. Marty Feldman? Mm-hmm. Not the uh, Dr. Marty Feldman uh, that Gary no, knows. No, no. <laughs> this is the guy with the eyes that used to fall out of his head, bug out of his head from England. That's usually a cause uh, a character actor. Hyperthyroid. Oh, bugging out eyes? Yeah. That's one of the symptoms of hyperthyroid. These are bulging eyes, not not big eyes like mine. I mean they're these are bulging, bulging eyes, eyes Marty Feldman had. Uh <laughs> it is have 12 years gone by and our memories faded so badly that we forgot what happened on September 11? Representative Mike Rogers, Republican of Michigan, chairman of the Intelligence Committee, said in pleading with his colleagues to back the program during House debate. Republican Representative Justin Amish of Michigan. Amish? He's not Amish? It could no, it's an M A S H. Oh, okay. Chief sponsor of the repeal effort said his aim was to end the indiscriminate collection of Americans' phone records. 
his measure offered as an addition to a 598.3 billion dollar defense spending yeah. for 2014 would have canceled the statutory authority for the NSA program ending the agency's ability to collect phone records and metadata under the USA Patriot Act unless it identified an individual under investigation. See? A crook, a terrorist, an individual. But now, they just take any amount of uh, 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 information they want yeah. from anybody. And they like stop and frisk, right? Oh, yes, over in New York they do. Stop and feel you up. Jeez, I don't even know if it's that good. Based. <laughs> The based, top of risk, you know? Based on uh, on what you look like. If you look suspicious... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be fooled, my friend. If you look suspicious, like if you're like... It Zim is based on what you look like. Yeah. But it means the color of your skin. They just don't come out and say it. That's so correct. you can play Zimmerman if you're a New York City cop and say, Hey, you! You, well, you over there! Stop! Freeze! Remember we You were look like you're up to no good! I'm Remember gonna frisk you. We were discussing <laughs> the right of juries. Yeah. The jury nullification. Yeah. Well, two jurors have come forward right now. Yeah. And said they say Zimmerman is guilty, but the way the judge read the law to them and the way the law reads. They could not convict him. But they, as I said, they do not understand the power of the juror. No. They could have nullified <laughs> right. the decision. Now, Zimmerman, uh, whether or not he was able to uh, physically reach his gun if uh, Trayvon Martin had him in that mount and pound, mount and pound, uh, 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 mixed martial art position, supposedly, supposedly, allegedly, whether or not he can reach his gun or not, the fact of the matter is, and stop me if I'm wrong, and tell me if I'm right, because I don't have all the detailed facts. Zimmerman was was not a police officer he was not a a licensed security officer he was off the premises of his gated community right he was on the street somewhere in his he, he was not on the property of where he lived he was in in the in the area and he was told and on the recording by 911 not to follow and pursue we this, don't need you to do that this young man it is not your responsibility we don't want you to do that you you, you he he did the right thing by reporting it but he did the wrong thing by following and pursuing Trayvon Martin and he wasn't supposed to do that and and he uh, uh, instigated and he engaged in this incident he, he instigated it Correct. and uh, caused the altercation. Mm -hmm. Now, then, if this is true, then, then Zimmerman is in the wrong. Correct. Definitely, without a doubt. But. And Trayvon is unarmed. But. Yeah. The stand your ground law. Yeah. States that if you enter into a situation, it doesn't matter if you're the perpetrator or this, that, and the other thing. If when you enter that situation, at a time, you feel that your life is under attack, you have the right under Florida law to defend yourself, to stand your ground, and to kill the other person. Even though you followed and stalked the, other, the other individual? And that's why these two jurors mm -hmm. eventually went along with the other four. Now, See? what is to stop someone someone in Florida who has a grudge against ah. against a let's say a, a, a former employer or a former friend and decides to stalk and follow this person that they don't like for personal reasons and blow them away and and say well I felt threatened 
Well, who's to who's to stop people from taking the law into their own hands and playing vigilante in situations where they are not apprehending a criminal? They just want to rub out, bump off somebody they don't like. What's to stop all this it. from happening? Can get away with it. See the problem with this stand your ground law? Yep. You know, you could take it upon yourself to, 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 to kill somebody that you don't like for whatever personal reasons. And it was unarmed. And uh, let's just say that you let's just say that you are following some dumb dumb jumbaloni and you got the gun. Yeah. And so you got the gun and you feel like a big shot. And you go and confront this guy. And somewhere in the altercation, the other guy gets the upper hand. Gets the gun. Because you're a little weak. And knocks, or whatever. and knocks the gun out of your hand. No. Gets the upper hand in some way yeah. over you. And you take out the gun and you blow him away. Well, if, if you're if you're minding your own business and you're taking a stroll in Florida and you're minding your own business and somebody tries to mug you, that's one thing. You're not looking for trouble. Trouble's looking for you and wants to make a victim out of you. That's one thing. I'm all for self-defense, but, but if you're out there following somebody or pursuing somebody, stalking, whatever you want to say, uh, whatever words you want to use, and your premeditated intention is to start trouble with this individual and follow them and hurt them, maim them, or kill them, mm -hmm. then using the stand your ground law is a very bad thing because then anybody could use it as an excuse Remember to hurt anybody they don't like. Remember, in the black community, Especially when you're a young child, kid. Yeah. There is this fear of the predator guy following you to rape you. Or do something or to bad do damage to you. Because that because of the neighborhood they they're in. Yeah. Exactly. Now a white kid a white kid in Florida after the, the the Zimmerman trial, a white kid accidentally stumbled in the wrong neighborhood and and the black the black kids uh, killed him shot him. This happens. Out of out of out of uh, revenge. Uh, revenge for what happened with Zimmerman, and this, I mean, and this kid is just innocent bystander. Hey, the mob killed Jesus, didn't they? I mean, this happens. Yeah. Well, he's an innocent bystander, but then again, if he's from Florida, he must have known what About that what that neighborhood was. Maybe he was in that neighborhood to buy drugs. This white kid. I mean, if you're from if you're from Florida, and you're, regardless what race you are, you know what neighborhoods are seedy and what neighborhoods are nice. So regardless, he they killed him. So, yeah. but the news didn't cover it. You know, the news media is in America is really strange. Well, they don't. They, they don't ever go to the to the to the, to the source to the core. Now nah, or anything nah. like that. Like the BBC will tell you more truth than about the America. America than you will learn from an American news yeah. agency or, 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 yeah. or any of the European <laughs> Spain any of the European news people yeah. Uh, yeah. Russia or even Latin American news you will hear and see very graphic things and hear down and dirty facts and truths about everything but not in the United States media no 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 not at all no so anyway finish that Zimmerman uh, reading well this was not about Zimmerman Oh, it was about stand your ground, right? No, this was about the spying. Oh, we just got <laughs> off the track. <laughs> we got off the track. We got derailed. <laughs> oh oh yeah. man, you see how unpredictable progressive discussions is? All right, finish The it. House later voted to pass the overall defense bill. Yeah. <laughs> 315 to 109. Amash, the guy from Michigan. Amash told the House that his effort was to defend the Constitution and defend the privacy of every American. Two good things, correct? Yeah. But they voted down his bill. They allow the NSA to continue 
with its spying on innocent Americans. Opponents of this amendment will use the same tactic that every government throughout history has used to justify its violation of rights. Fear, he said. Shall we go back to Mr. Goyobuz? Mr. Goyobuz? What? Fear. What are you talking Goebbels. about? Oh, Goebbels. Fear. Sound like you garbled Goebbels' name. I did garble Goebbels' <laughs> name. Oh, what, what? We haven't rang it yet all day. Oh, my God. Come on, I told her, told about nine jokes. The Levity Bells. How many Central was looking for me? The Levity Bells. Either I forgot to ring them. No, actually, we never, we have, we didn't say anything funny yet. Jeez, I thought I did say something funny. Did you? A couple of things funny. Yeah, I know, I just said. They will tell you that the government <laughs> must violate the rights of the American people to protect us. Protect against those us. Who hate our freedom. Yes. How the hell do we have freedom if we're being spied on? Yeah. Everything with the, the conservatives is, is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy and 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 and, and, and crookedness stupid. and stupid. You know, stupid. stupid Downright on its face. Ideology based on stupidity, on on not knowing the facts. The unlikely political coalitions were on full display during a spirited but brief House debate. Let us not deal in false narratives. Let's deal in facts that will keep Americans safe. Facts? Said Representative Michelle Bachman, Republican of Minnesota. Bubble-headed Bachman. <laughs> you know... She, well, let's yeah. deal in facts. Facts? She's never dealt in a fact in her life. Neither has most... Republicans. She wouldn't know a fact that she tripped over it. Neither has most Republicans. Look, bubble-headed... Michelle Bachman, Bubblehead Bachman, and Sarah Nalen Palin, the two numbskulls, the two idiots, they, they're, I gotta admit, they're, they're good looking older women. That's what I was just gonna say, they're good looking MILF. They're only good for one thing, is to do, you know, uh, uh, older cougar, whatever you wanna call them, older women porn. And you don't have to put a bag on her head, but you gotta put a gag in her mouth. No, you gotta gag them. Gotta gag them. If you have sex with them, you gotta gag them. Oh, yeah. You gotta gag them. You, you don't want to hear what they have to say. But they're good. They're good enough to bang. They're good. They're, they're bangable, but not to elect to any. I wouldn't elect them to dog catcher. No, animal control. You have to be a little bit more uh, sensitive than shooting wolves from a helicopter. Oh, what a macho way to hunt. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an even playing field. Shooting a wolf from a helicopter. Who's that? Right. Palin? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how I wonder how they uh, they deal with Alaskan brown uh, grizzly bears up there. Hey, she can dress a moose in the field, baby. Cause she dress herself. No, she does dress good. Or she's good at undressing. Ah. Uh, when she had that boyfriend of hers when she was married. Now we're talking. Uh, she supposedly got got stucked. No, but uh, by, uh, you just gave me an image in my head when you said she should be undressed. Yeah, she should be discussing undressing, yeah. not dressing. Yeah. Dressing a moose. Well, they're very carnivorous up in Alaska. They love their their I think guns. Playboy should offer her, you know, to pose. They love it. Playboy Both offer. Them. Playboy offer her. No, I said should. Playboy. Like a, a million dollars a piece for both of them. Play. Listen. I um, wonder if they do it. Um, Larry. No, not maybe not. They they probably would be very upset if Larry Flint. Or for them. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think they'd go for Hustler, but they might go for Playboy. Playboy. Yeah, he just for the hell of it, you have to should offer to both of them. A million bucks. Just, it, what's the worst that can happen? They'll they'll get mad and say no. Yeah, but he'd sell a lot of magazines. You kidding me? <sighs> Absolutely. And they'll win elections <laughs> because of all the erections. What? 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 They win elections because of all the erections. Oh, beautiful. Funny, funny. It's gold. A member of the Intelligence Committee uh. who implored her colleagues to back a program that she argued was vital in combating terrorism. So, she's in favor 
of the NSA spying on innocent Americans. Well, I think all Republicans are in favor of that. Yeah, well, so what was it, 80 some or whatever Democrats, too? That's very, very you know? fa fascist. Uh, yeah, well, bl blue dogs, right? Yeah. Something. Blue balls, blue dog Democrats. Certainly against the Constitution. It's unconstitutional to do it. Yeah. But they're getting away with you. Well, we're protecting you. I say again. They said they, they there were 50 times that uh, these things protected us. I want to see proof of one. That's all. Proof all things. Hold fast That's that which correct. is good. Thessalonians. That's correct. But Representative Jim Sensenbrenner, Republican of Wisconsin. Does he have any sense, Sensenbrenner? Not if he's Republican. Senseless. Should change his name to Senseless Brenner. A senior member of the Judiciary Committee who helped write the Patriot Act yeah. insisted the time has come to stop the collection of phone records that goes far beyond what he envisioned. So even he knows that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. We've gone too far. Mm -hmm. Several Republicans acknowledge the difficulty in balancing civil liberties against national security, but they expressed suspicion about the Obama administration's implementation of the NSA programs and the anger at Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. Clap on. Clap off, yeah, clap the, on, the, clap the, off, the clapper. That brings to mind, I, it's either... Oh, it's, as long as you don't have the clap. It's either clapper or crapper. I think it's crapper. It's the guy who invented a toilet. Yeah, his, his last name was cra crapper. crapper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, the old lady almost missed her hands when she clapped, remember her? Maybe she had a little difficulty. I don't think I'll make it fun of older yeah. people who have a little difficulty. Well, the woman that used to say, where's the beef, she died. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, the balancing is being done by people who do not know. People who lied to the Congress. Hey. Said Representative Mick Mulvaney, Republican of South Carolina. Oh, God, those stupid laws they have down in oh, Carolina. South Carolina, forget about it. Come on. They're got, still fighting the Civil War. Not only that, they had, they're stuck on all these these morality laws that are so holier than thou down there, you know? Yeah, based on what? Certainly not the Bible. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're so puritanically prudish and anti-sexuality and uh, probably homophobic, you know, and... Uh, and stuff like that, and and meanwhile they're probably robbing the taxpayers' money blind, uh, corruption and. You mean in in the state, in, in the cities, the state, and the counties? Yeah, they they don't look at the sins that they commit, monetary sins. Well, nobody sees the moat in their own eye; they only see the beam in yours. Yeah, as the Bible says. Yeah, yeah. He was referring to Clapper. Okay. who admitted he gave misleading statements to Congress on how much the United States spies on Americans. Clapper apologized to lawmakers earlier this month. That's a crime. That's a crime. Why is he not in jail? Mr. Clapper. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a crime to lie to Congress. Yes. You think I should grow whiskers like Mr. Anonymous? Yes, 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 yeah. Go to you like that. No, this the one this just the one in the middle and the Yeah. Okay. After saying in March that the United States does not gather data on citizens. Something that Snowden revealed as false mm -hmm. by releasing documents showing the NSA collects millions of phone records. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a flurry of letters, statements and tweets. Both sides lobbied furiously in the hours prior to the vote in the Republican-controlled House. In a last-minute statement, Clapper warned against dismantling a critical intelligence tool. Since 
the September 11th, 2001 attacks, Congress has authorized and a Republican and a Democratic president has signed extensions of the powers to search records and conduct roving wiretaps in pursuit of terrorists. Name one, that's all I ask. Name one. I'm not asking for much. Just one. Just name one. That's it. Give some proof, man. I got I gotta run to the to the outhouse and start the next reading. I'll be back in a flash. <clears throat> well, as most people know who uh, are in the uh, nutritional business or the uh, nutritional uh, studies or uh, education and teaching, a study released the same year from the Cleveland Clinic of 36,000 men who took vitamin E Selenium, both or neither, found that those who took vitamin E had a 17% greater risk of prostate cancer. There are two classes of vitamins, water-soluble, such as Bs and C, and fat-soluble, such as A, D, E, and K, which get absorbed by the body and are stored in the liver and the fatty tissue. Those are the ones that can become toxic if we get too much of them," said Dr. Carla Germanario, Germanario, an internist at Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey. Indeed. No. Oh, okay. In February. The United States Preventive Services Task Force, an independent panel of United States health experts, recommended that healthy postmenopausal women not take vitamin D and calcium supplements. Oh, sure. They don't want they don't want older women to be uh, optimally healthy. Well, that'll cut into their business of osteoporosis. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean. Uh, the Ameri heaven forbid the uh, the the uh, American uh, healthcare industry controlled by big pharma should lose profit. Taking these supplements has no net benefit for the primary prevention of fractures and could increase the likelihood of kidney stones. If you're taking the proper calcium. With, with magnesium. With magnesium. Well, not at the same time, right? You can do that. 